we just wanted to catch you up. It's the middle of the season, so we're going to give you some info on how things are going. Yep, we're going to go over our accomplishments and failures so far for uh, this year. Uh, we're halfway through the year, so we've done eight autocrosses so far this year, mm -hmm. and I've done one pro solo. Yep. Um, the standings, so we run with two local clubs, uh, so out of those eight events, uh, basically four of them have been with one club, four of them have been with the other club. So currently uh, in the standings, Ashley, for one of the clubs, is sitting in second, mm -hmm. and then in the other club, she's sitting in third. But since it's only halfway through the season, she's only like three points away from first, so it's really close still. Uh, yep. And drive fast. For my class, uh, right now I'm sitting second in both of the with both of the clubs, uh, and really close to first place. Uh, I think one of the clubs it was less than one point away, so still a lot to go. So we still got uh, some autocrosses to try to win uh, for the pack standings. So for for me, for one of the clubs, I'm sitting in third right now in the total overall uh, PAX championship. Oh, that's pretty Which good. is pretty awesome. I've never been that high up, so hopefully we can kind of stay up there near the top and we don't start dropping off uh, at the end of the year. It would be really sweet to get that uh, that trophy. That's uh, a much larger trophy. It has everybody, every previous uh, winner's names around the, the bottom of it, so it's really cool. Uh, maybe one year that is the the goal it's your year and not this year probably but <laughs> maybe hopefully in the future uh for the other club i'm sitting in seventh in the total uh packs uh and it's again all those guys up in that in the top 10 are all just one point away from each other so uh the remaining of the events we're all going to move around yeah it can change like every race it'll probably change Yep. because every race will matter and yeah the two clubs are doing their their point system a little bit different right now for the mid-season but but by the end they both dropped two events so but right now one was doing best three out of four another one was bet doing uh dropping two events uh but by the end of the year they'll both be dropping two events out of uh eight or nine uh total events that they'll be putting on for the the full autocross season now for the failures. What uh, went wrong? We did blow the head gasket and probably had some failing rings in the, the engine. So if you've been following along, you've seen that autocross. Uh, it was maybe two events ago. Uh, the we the engine blew the head gasket, put a lot, out a lot of uh, white smoke, and was not sounding good. Uh, but Luckily, I had a backup engine that I hadn't sold yet, so we've swapped that back into the car and have got us going again. It's not to the power level that the other engine was at, and uh, it is smoking a little bit because it is a tired, you know, just stock 5.0, but uh, it's still doing well and got me the closest that I've, I think I've ever gotten to the GT350R at that last event, so it's still has a championship in her. Just when I think you have too many engines sitting around, it yep. saves us. Always keep spare parts laying around. Don't keep extra Be a hoarder. in your shop. Don't save everything. Um, I guess it would have to have been when I was able to learn and kind of get better at launching. And that kind of came with launch control. Um, my launches before, because I drove stick on the road, I understood it as a little give, a little take, you know, when you're at a red light, just. Yeah, not actually not like, holding up the RPM yeah. and kind of like aggressively getting off the clutch. Dropping slash it. And dumping the clutch, yeah. Yeah, so I probably have taken like at least a second off of my launch time. So yeah, that would have been the Tessa Tune event, uh, mm -hmm. and I don't know 
we maybe only done one other test of tune with yeah. you previously. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just giving the seat time. Yeah, we did probably like a lot 30 of thirty runs that day. Runs. I was exhausted, yep. but it was a ton of seat time and a lot of opportunity to just try things out and with no risk. Like if you stalled, you stalled. If you hit a bunch of cones, you hit a bunch of cones. But it was just a day to like practice obstacles, practice your start. Yep, test of tunes are mm -hmm. fun things to go to if you're looking for seat time or you want to try different things out on the car, uh, try different tires, sway bars, mm -hmm. uh, suspension settings, or tire pressures, things like that. Uh, Tesla tunes are uh, really good to go to. Yeah. Uh, for me, my most memorable event, I actually got two for this year so I far. I this big one. I can't, I can't decide. Okay, so the pro solo that I went to, because it was my first pro solo, and it was just, I didn't, do well or well as I know I could have um, but it was just it was a lot of fun it was my first time doing a pro solo event so it was just sensory overload of all the different things and now looking back potentially a hurt engine um, the engine could have been hurt during that event and not really known it uh, but it was just early fun time got to go down there with uh, with Shane who I've only met a few times so that was a really good uh, fun time just to have somebody in the in the car riding down there with to talk to and uh to help uh push harder going through the course also everything like i know i said i missed it yeah, it was fun to have somebody to bounce ideas off of yeah and, uh that venue zmax uh, is really cool we're gonna have to go there okay. when they do a two-day autocross at some point yeah and then my second event most memorable event for this year was my first pax win yeah so i had to put that one in there because it was the first time that i've won overall packs for the event mm -hmm. um that's so awesome hopefully it won't be the last i haven't got any more this year but i have been pretty close uh, but hopefully in the coming uh future we will get some more so we got several things that we did Aww. in the off season so we swapped uh to new tires we're running the nanking uh crs's where we were running the falcon rt 660s last year we added abs we added traction control uh two separate systems and we also added a push button start so out of those things that we did in the off season all what's right your since favorite? you picked two last time i'm gonna pick two okay go for okay it. so as far as racing the abs hands down um Oh my gosh, it's so different. It's amazing. No more locking up and hoping and guessing and wishing and praying. <laughs> like <laughs> it stops yep. and it's a good feeling. So you can brake later, you can push harder and it just sticks. It's solid. Amazing. I love it. Yep. Um, as far as like getting ready to get on the line, especially like when you're working and I'm by myself having to do everything, the push to start just like makes everything so much easier especially yep. since our ignition was broken and we were like playing under the console yeah. love it just Pre previously yeah the ignition key broke so i just took the ignition switch out and we would manually uh move the rod in there to start it yeah. uh, so put in the push button start yeah. when it you're was, in a five point harness yeah. and you accidentally stall and your starter is <laughs> yeah, down here and you can't down. reach it yeah the push button is great. yeah so it kind of became a, a safety issue at that point yeah. too i think so Love yep it. having the push button start was a good one for me with is the abs same reasons that you listed being able to go deep into the corners break aggressively mm -hmm. and not lock up the tire we were constantly locking up uh one of the front mm -hmm. uh passenger side wheel mostly but yeah you could we could easily lock up the the front tires um so yeah having the abs has been a game changer yeah. like can consistently go in hard get on the brakes late and know that you're going to make it around the corner and yeah it's been awesome i've never really had a car with abs <laughs> um, other than the the tow truck so ha and even then you 
don't rely on ABS when you're just driving a normal vehicle. You no. barely ever feel yeah. it come in. Maybe when a little in the rain or definitely if there's snow, but like we're hitting the ABS Every on the drive time. with, you know, really sticky tires. And so. yeah, it's been great. It's um, given me more confidence in myself because I yep. know the car is good. Not just so much in racing, but also just driving on the street, which not driving this car on the street, but just driving your normal car on the street. Yeah. You feel more confident in what that car is able to do. Even though you haven't pushed it on a track, you know that there's systems there that can. Yeah. I know if I hit my brakes, it's going to stop. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good, as well as this car. It's a good but, feeling but. to stop when you want to stop. Yep. So for the rest of the year, we still have probably about eight or so uh, autocrosses uh, left for this uh, 2022 season. So there is a lot of racing left to come, left to go. A lot of uh, points there for us to win. I know, I'm like right there. Yep, me too. Uh, second is good, but first is better. Okay, wish us luck. We're going to try. Yep. Thank you guys for watching the video. We will see you guys in the next one. Later.